Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. As I promised, I am here today to show you how to color leaves in a different way. I know I always say you don't always have to make your leaves green. If they are green, you can always add in other colors to really make them pop. We are gonna do that today. I have picked a leaf here in Joanna Bassford's World of Flowers, and I have some colors over here, and I've already tried them out, and they came together beautifully. So I wanted to be able to share that with all of you today. I made a post on my community tab and asked y'all what you wanted to see as far as the leaves and y'all gave me a lot of suggestions and I looked through all of those and I put some things together. So some of you had requested autumn leaves. I'll bring you that in a future video. Today we are going to do a leaf that looks a little bit more summery. So today I am going to color a leaf with colors that you would probably never even think to put together and in the end you will see that it just comes together absolutely beautiful. So I'm looking at this leaf here and I think we're going to go ahead and color this one because in my last tutorial where I colored a flower I showed you all how you can color these without you know, feeling like you need to color it all blocky within the boxes. And it was a full tutorial for flowers and leaves using my color combinations that I brought to you in previous videos. And so I wanted to sort of expand on that tutorial, focusing on another leaf with that same idea. It's very popular in a lot of Johanna's artwork. If you look at this page, you could see it all over the page where everything is sort of lined and it's kind of, I don't know, I don't want to call it boxy, but there's just a lot of different spaces and a lot of beginner colorists feel like they need to color exactly in these boxes and just put full colors in there and make everything separate spaces, which you don't have to do. So I'm gonna show you a little bit more of that today as I bring all of these colors into this leaf. So I've got a few colors here. And as I start bringing the colors in, I am going to tell you exactly what they are. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> because I told you all many times and if you've watched my tutorials I don't necessarily use just three colors so that video I did um, my last flower tutorial video I did that was quite a challenge for me because I don't ever use just three colors very very rarely but I always recommend if you are a beginner that is where you start you start with three colors and then you start um, bringing other colors in as you feel more comfortable in your coloring skills. So this leaf here is the one that I'm gonna start with. This is the one I'm gonna color today. And so my first color that I have is gray green light. It's one of my favorite highlight colors for greens. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm just going to lay some of this color in and around in some of the different spaces on the leaf. And as you can see, I'm just sporadically laying the color and I may even come back and lay other colors over it. Now I have light green and I'm gonna start by just laying some of this color in. And this is what I encourage all of you to do. You just come in and just lay your colors in different places and you can always, if you lay it in the wrong place, I'm going light to dark so that if I do lay a color somewhere where I don't necessarily want it, I can always come back and go right over that color with a darker color. Sometimes I do go dark to light. I do it all different ways, but for this one, since I'm using so many different colors and I wanna make sure I get them all in there, I'm going light to dark just because I want to be able to preserve that area where I want my highlights. Now this one is true green and this one is very close to that last color that I used. What was that? light green so the light green and the true green they're a little bit different but they're also very close in color so i'm just laying this all around just like i did with the other colors okay so now i'm going to start coming in with some colors that are a little bit different from my green i've got my green laid in a few different spaces i got my highlight color in there and i am going to use light aqua now and i'm going to come in here with this light aqua and I'm just gonna start laying this color down just really wherever I want it. And I'm just blending this color into the other colors so that they just come together as one. 
And with the Prisma colors, you all know how beautifully they all just blend together. And again, I'm showing you that I am not necessarily worrying about this, um, the veins of the leaf or what should be the veins of the leaf and keeping them separate. I'm just coloring right over them and making them all one. I'm gonna add a little bit of this up here. And I have another color that I wanna bring in that is very different. So I'm leaving some spaces for that and I'm gonna show you now. I am gonna come in here and you may be a little surprised, <laughs> but I've got hot pink. So I'm gonna use my hot pink and I'm just gonna start adding in some hot pink in different places all around the other colors. And you will be amazed at how beautiful this is going to turn out. And you probably wouldn't think to add pink in with your teals and your greens and all of your other colors that you're using on your leaves. And this isn't the only pink that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be coming back with another pink because of course I need a color that is a little bit darker than this to make it really stand out. So I'm just adding the pink in certain places. So again, I do wanna mention that I know a lot of you ask me, um, you know, to show you like how to determine where the lighting is coming from. And I've done several videos like that. You could find those on my channel. I'll link one in the upper right hand corner if I remember when I am editing this video. But I've done several videos like that and they are actually very popular on my channel. But if you are a beginner, trying to focus on where the light is coming from and where to lay your colors, that can get a little bit overwhelming. So I always tell y'all, don't focus so much on trying to figure out where the light is coming from and where to lay your colors as much as just laying your colors wherever you think they're gonna look good. Now look, those two colors mixed together made a beautiful purple color here. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now I have Process Red, which is a gorgeous, like, darker hot pink color. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm really going to emphasize that pink and where I've laid that color. And I'm just going right into those areas where I see the veins of the leaves and really emphasizing those areas rather than trying to create a separation. I need to turn my book just a little bit so I could get up here and really make these areas over here stand out by adding a bit of shadow here. Now by just lining the outside of these leaves, that is how I really make it look like it has a whole lot of depth. I like to do that to really make my leaves stand out and look as though they are just lifting off the page and when it's done, that is exactly how it's gonna look. After all of the colors come together and everything is laid exactly where I want it. I'm wondering if I should add a little bit of a pink, of pink down here. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty. Now see how I just sort of just lay my colors all over, like I said, just sporadically wherever I think they're gonna look good. And I'm just, I'm not concerned about, you know, like the lighting and where the lighting is coming from and all of those things because I like to just lay my colors wherever I feel like I want them. Now I'm gonna come back with my hot pink and I am going to just blend those colors out just a little bit so that that other color, the process red, does not look as harsh. And so I'm just pulling that into the other colors and blending them in. And when you're doing leaves like this and you're using all of these different colors, you can do several different leaves. Like say I was gonna color these in two for you and um, show you those. I would lay my colors in all different places and not necessarily try to make them look the same. So I'm coming back with my light aqua and I'm gonna start blending some of this color into the other colors as well. And you could blend this light aqua right into the pink and it will just look really pretty. And of course, we're gonna come back with our other colors. And this is a little bit different. If you see me color leaves before, this is a little bit different from what I usually do. 
but I really wanted to try something different today and I want to encourage all of you to also when you are coloring don't always feel like you need to do the same thing change the way you color just a little bit do different things watch different tutorials on YouTube and how different people color and take all of those ideas and work them into your own coloring and then put your own little twist on it and create something that is really unique to you and your own coloring style. Okay, so it's starting to come together really pretty and I'm just alternating my colors in the order that I started. So I've got my true green now and I want to add some more of this and this color is really going to make things pop because you see how bright and beautiful it is. So I'm just coming back and of course blending this into the other colors wherever I want it. A little bit more up here and I don't want to add too much because I've got so many other colors so I'm going to come back with my light green and I'm going to add a little bit more of this and just sort of blend it in again just like I did with that last color and wait until you see. I've not grabbed my shadow color yet or the color that I'm using that is my darkest because I want y'all to just see when I come in and I start to add that color I want y'all to watch it just really start to pop because I really want you to see what your shadowing color can do or your darkest color and why it's so important when you're coloring. So let me go ahead and grab a little bit more of my highlight color which was the gray green light and I'm gonna just add this in here where I had all of those highlight colors and I want to really leave that highlight in there in those areas because I really want those spaces to really just pop and of course I'm going to come back in the end and I'm probably going to use that highlight color to really make all of those colors come together. Okay so now I've got my cobalt turquoise and I am going to come through, this is my darkest color, and I'm going to come through and I'm just going to start adding this color in certain spaces so you can see how it's just going to start to pop. So I'm going to come in here, just add a little bit of this here. Look at that. <laughs> Gosh, it's so pretty. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. But this color is so dark that it is just going to lay over some of these other colors that I had already laid down. So I'm just putting a little bit over here. I'm blending it right into where I had that pink. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. Look how pretty that is. And then I'm gonna come up here and I really wanna emphasize the tip of the leaf with this cobalt turquoise. Look how pretty that is. I wanna come over here and add a little bit of this. I don't know if I should maybe bring another color in. I don't think I'm gonna need to. I'm probably, probably gonna come back and blend that out just a little bit with some of my um, aqua. This is so much fun to color. <laughs> just watching this just really start to pop is just so satisfying. <laughs> I'm going around all of the edges and I'm just adding this color in and you can see just how much it is starting to really make this leaf just really pop and stand out and have all kinds of depth and dimension and the colors are just coming together so beautifully. I think I'm going to come down here and really just emphasize the stem of the leaf. Look at these colors how pretty they are together though. Okay so I want to come in here and add a little bit and again, I'm going to pull this out just a little bit into the center of the leaf. I'm going to do the same over here and really come into where these veins are. So what I'm doing here is just a little bit of basically just outlining. But this is what is going to really make my leaf pop off the page. And you can see how it's just all really starting to come together. I want to add a little bit more of that there. Now see how I had laid the pink there thinking that I wanted pink in that area and then I just came right back over and I laid this color right on top of it. And it covered it a little bit but I could still see a little bit of the pink here and where the two colors came together at that transition it made it even a little bit purple which is really pretty. Oh, what happened right there on my page? So can y'all see that? It looks like something happened right there on my leaf. 
I don't know what that is or what happened. Go figure, right? Today's Friday the 13th when I'm filming this video. <laughs> oh my goodness. It messed up my leaf. I don't know what that is. That is so sad. I'll just try to make it work it in and try to ignore it by laying a lot of extra of my darker color there. Y'all, you can always fix everything. Always, always, always. So I'm gonna come down here and just keep lining just a little bit and really adding quite a bit more of this color because this is what's going to give me all my extra depth and dimension. And then I'm gonna have to come back with some of these other colors. Let me go ahead and grab another color now. So I'm going to come back with my light aqua and I'm just gonna go in a circular motion everywhere where I added this um, aqua color. Now see, that's starting to blend out where my book got messed up. I don't know what happened there with the book. That's so strange, that's never happened before. So I'm just going over all of the areas where I laid that cobalt turquoise, I think it was, and I'm going over it with this light aqua just to pull the color down into the other colors and of course I'm gonna have to come back with my pink and my other colors to make sure everything is blended in really nicely but I still really want that pink to really stand out so I'm gonna have to come back with my pink and I'm going to have to re-add that color or just go over it a little bit to really emphasize the areas where I've got that pink laid. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna grab my hot pink first. And again, remember what I told you, you could just lay the colors right over one another. And this is really just going to come together beautifully. So I'm laying my pink all in there, a little bit more pink over here. And then back here where I had the pink. And the pink is almost turning to a shade of purple because of all of the colors we have used and mixed together, which is fine. It's really pretty. And so now I need to come back. Oh, let me go over here and really emphasize this area where I had a little bit of that in the stem. Now I'm gonna come back with my process red and I am going to really darken this up. Oh, look how pretty that is. I want you all to remember that when you look at whatever object on the page that you're coloring, and you think you're done, remind yourself always that you can always come back and add more layers. You can always come back and add more layers and that's what's gonna start to bring everything together. Now because I laid a little bit more of that darker color, I'm coming back and blending it out with my hot pink. And I love where the hot pink is sort of turning to purple where it mixes with those blues. That is so pretty. Not necessarily the blues, but the teals. Of course, they're a shade of blue. Oh, I love this. Look how purple this looks down here. So you can see how just by using the colors that I used over here, it actually created another color with the blend of all of the colors together. So now I'm gonna come back and I'm going to add a little bit more of my light green. And I'm gonna blend this into these areas where I've got the pink. And I'm gonna stay out of that highlight area because I wanna make sure that I preserve those areas specific for my highlight only. So I'm just laying this all where I previously had it before. And I'm just sort of blending it into that pink. Is that my lightest green? Oh yeah, I forgot to use my true green. So let me add a little bit of the true green in here because the true green is a really bright, beautiful green and I just want to be able to see that pop of color. Notice, like I said, I'm still keeping those highlighted areas there. Okay, so now I'm coming back with my gray green light and I'm really going to emphasize these highlighted areas and just go over them once again. Now when I come back and I go over these highlighted areas, notice I'm starting in the center of where the highlight is and then I'm gonna come out and sort of burnish that color and pull them all together. Because I don't want to take this lighter color and pull the darker colors into the lighter color, I wanna start at the lightest color and come into these other colors and really burnish them in. Okay, so you see here where I have a few of these uh, veins still looking a little bit white. I'm thinking that, oh goodness, let me see, what do I wanna do? I think I wanna add a little bit of my pink in these areas, oh that looks nice. So that is my process red. And then I am going to use my hot pink to pull it down just a little bit. Oh, that looks pretty. 
But let me come back with my cobalt turquoise and I am just going to make those look like they are really standing out quite a bit more. And I'm getting down to as many layers as I could probably apply in this book. So I'm just going to come back one more time and just really emphasize the outer edges to create a little bit more depth. So remember, like I said earlier, when you're coloring and you think you're done, always go back and add another layer and you will see a huge difference. So I think Maybe I need to add a little bit more of this down in here just to create that separation between these two leaves here. But I'm going to have to come back with my light aqua and I'm going to have to pull that out just a little bit. Notice I'm always using the light aqua with my cobalt turquoise because they are pretty much, you know, the same color family. They're all both, both um, like a greenish blue type color or teal colors. So I like to make sure that I use those together. Okay, so I have my gray green light one more time and I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to blend all of the colors together with this color. Now this is a very, very light color and that's why I'm able to do that with this color. But I'm just going over everything and making sure all of the colors are blended together really nicely. And I can't believe how I was able to fix that. I don't know what happened to my book earlier, but I was able to go right over it and fix it and you can't even see it anymore. And some of these spaces here where these colors are blended together, like the pink um, is blended into like a lot of the other um, blues and greens and such. There was not a perfect transition there. So I'm just going around all of those areas just to make the colors come together a little bit nicer. And again, I'm trying to stay out of the highlighted area and just blend in the other colors because I, wanna, I don't want to pull these colors the darker colors into my highlight area, but I think our leaf is about done. It's done and I absolutely love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so look what I'm doing. I think I just want to add a little bit pink in here. <laughs> See, I'm always like, oh, it's done. And then I'm like, oh, I need to come back and add a little bit of something else. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay, now it's done. <laughs> Now it's done. Now I'm convinced. Okay, so our leaf is done and I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I love how it all came together. And let me just go over all of the colors that I used because there were quite a few of them. Again, this is not just a three color combination. It is a lot of different colors and probably colors that you would never normally put together. So I had true green and then I had my hot pink, my light aqua, uh, what is this one? Light green. That's a beautiful color. I love light green. Okay, and then process red, gray green light, and cobalt turquoise. So those are all of our colors and ended up creating this gorgeous leaf that looks, I don't know, to me it looks a little summery. <laughs> it even looks a little mermaid-esque, I guess. I absolutely love it. It's so, so pretty. I've never done a leaf with these colors before, so this was like new for me, and I don't know if I've ever been that daring with a leaf. I mean, I've been pretty daring with leaves, and I've colored quite a few, and I think that I have all of my leaf tutorials in a playlist, and if I don't, I'll make sure that I do that and link it up in the upper right-hand corner. But if y'all enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up because it really helps others to be able to see my videos and my tutorials as well. If you would like to take some private coloring classes with me, I am now teaching private coloring classes via Zoom and I would love to meet you for some of those classes. I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring!